Hi there. I've been reviewing books about music. Um, and in this movie review, it's uh, a film about the Beatles. So it's kind of a, a crossover between the two playlists. So the uh, movie is Backbeat and directed by Ian Softley. And it's really the story of the Beatles and their uh, trips to Hamburg. So the uh, cast includes um, Ian Haas as John Lennon, uh, Stephen Dorff as Stuart Sutcliffe, and Cheryl Lee as Astrid Kersha. Uh, and the story starts in Liverpool, where uh, John and Stu are at the art college, and uh, John recruits Stuart into his uh, band or group uh, as the bass player. And there's a scene where they go to buy the bass, and uh, it's fairly um, accurate because it, it's the Hofner bass um, that uh, Stuart actually bought. And he starts playing. They get the gig in Hamburg and off they go. And uh, I, I think the um, contrast between Hamburg and Liverpool is shown quite well. These guys, and they're all young guys at the time, sort of put right into the middle of Europe's most notorious red light district, living in um, very squalid surroundings. And um, they start to play. I, any, anyway, the story is, is more or less as described in, in the book I reviewed on the Beatles in Hamburg by Spencer Lee. And uh, the um, local German fans, uh, the Exes, which is Astrid, uh, Jürgen and Klaus um, meet up with the Beatles while they're playing uh, in the Kaiserkeller and uh, uh, eventually Stuart and Astrid fall in love and the other thing is Astrid is a very talented photographer and wants to take pictures of the Beatles and these are the famous photographs in Hamburg the black and white photos which um, were, were the really first professional publicity shots they had and are still uh, terrific photographs really captured the time so uh, let's just talk about the cast for a moment um, Ian Hart as John Lennon um, I, the first actor I saw play John Lennon was uh, Bernard Hill uh, on the stage uh, down in London uh, John Paul George Ringo and Bert was the play written by Willie Russell and Willie Russell was a cabinet. He used to go to the cabin and was a big fan of the Beatles. And uh, Bernard Hill got John Lennon off to a tee and he went on to um, really notable acting success, uh, in including being Yossi Hughes in The Boys from the Black Stuff. Ian Hart, likewise, did a really good job as John Lennon and he's gone on to other success and most recently. He was in The Responder, uh, which was filmed in Liverpool, and it's, it's been very highly acclaimed. Uh, Stu um, the uh, Stephen Dorff, who's an American, um, got a very, very credible Liverpool accent. Uh, unfortunately, Stuart Sutcliffe uh, was actually brought up in his early days in Scotland and didn't have a Liverpool accent, didn't have a Scouse accent at all. Um, and then uh, Cheryl Lee, um, I think she captured the, the, the beautiful soul that is Astrid very, very well. So the, uh, the music uh, in, the, in the movie was very well done. It's um, all covers because that's what they were playing at the time. They weren't playing their own material. The, the Beatles songs that we know so, so well since. It's all the heavy rock and roll covers and um, they got um, a kind of session band together to provide the soundtrack and uh, it's raw, it's raucous and it's probably what it sounded like in Hamburg at the time. Um, it's very, very good. The story really concentrates on the relationships between uh, Stuart and John as friends 
and uh, Stuart and Astrid as lovers. And they kind of turn it into a triangle between the three of them. Um, I don't know how true that was, uh, you know, with kind of jealousies and things like that. And um, obviously it makes for an entertaining movie. Uh, the uh, film then follows the return to Liverpool, um, then they come back to Hamburg for a, a, a season at the top 10, and that's when Stuart decides to stay, leaves the band, and uh, um, falls in love with Astrid and stays with her, and to pursue his artistic career, because he's a very, very talented painter. Then uh, the Beatles come back to Hamburg for the third time, which is the start of the uh, Star Club, and that's when Stuart very tragically has died um, of a brain aneurysm. And the, the film actually kind of blames John for his brain problems, and I, I think that's very doubtful. But again, you know, movies are not always noted for their historical accuracy. Um, I think overall the uh, Hamburg episode was very significant in the career of the Beatles which I, I said when I reviewed the previous book and I think this film captures that very very well um, I, I, I found it highly entertaining I found it interesting I thought the music was good and I thought the acting uh, was spot on and so um, it's, it's a film I've watched several times and I've always enjoyed it.